Welcome back to the ranch. Today we have some work to do both with this horse and this Hereford heifer. This young cow was sick for a while. She's better now and she's ready to go back out with the rest of the herd. We'll separate her away from these other two sick cows and get her back out where she really wants to be. I also need to work with this horse. His name is Lima and we've had him for quite a while. He's a good horse, but from time to time he gets very pushy. So we'll use him to help separate this heifer away from these other two. As you know from the other videos, I like to work stock nice and slow. I like to give them a chance to think so they can make a decision on their own as to what they should do. This Charlet cow is an old cow and she's not really been in the sick pen because she's ill, it's just that she has a hard time competing with the other cows. I always like to have an older cow in with some young cows because those cows tend to settle the bunch. An old cow knows how to be worked with a horse and she knows where the gates are. So if she's a good quiet one like this, she'll teach the young cows what needs to be done. They may not, not always want to go exactly where you point them, but because they know where to go and how to work, they're more likely to lead the young ones where they should be. I don't know why it is, but the one that you always want to work seems to know that's the case, and they tend to want to get away. This Hereford Heifer knows that if she can go to my left, she can get out into a little bigger open area and then be harder for me to work her. So my job is to try to block her from going to the left. She also knows that if she can go back to the right, she can get around me. She knows how to position me on the side of this hay feeder to keep me from getting too close to her. So I just wait and watch, and as she makes her move to the right, I go to the right too. And that way I can push her on back in with the other cows and get a little better position. I'm waiting for this Charlet cow to look towards the gate and start to walk that direction. As long as I don't push them too hard, she will eventually turn that way and lead the others along. I just ride forward and put a little pressure on that Charlet cow and she just turns and because she's the boss of the other two she also turns them. They all three go in just like they're supposed to. If I'd have charged right up to the gate after they'd got in they would have thought that something was wrong and they would have done their best to turn back. It's always nice to stop and let them think for a minute and see where they're at and feel comfortable. Now's the time to work the horse, so I'm going to work the, all these gates today on him without getting off. Here I ride him forward and then put my foot back and push his butt around to the right. He shouldn't move his front end when I do. Now I back him up, trying to avoid the fence behind me, and then push his shoulder over to the right. That way I can get close to the gate and slide that slider down into the slot. Here the old cow sees where she should go, but she doesn't want to, so she tries to step back. All I need to do is ride forward and put a little pressure on her and let her turn back. I move over to the left, put some pressure on her hip, she tries to step away again, and I just ride forward put a little pressure on her eye and ask her to turn and look back through that gate and go where she needs to go. As I do, the other two will follow.
Now Lima is going to get worked a bunch. There's several gates here that need to be opened and closed. And so I'll be able to push his hip around and his shoulder around. I'll be able to put his head in the corner, then flex his neck around and push his shoulder up into the corner so I can get to these chains to open and close these gates. This really helps a horse when he has a job to do. You're not just asking me to do something out in the pasture or out in the arena for no good reason is in his mind, he sees the purpose of what I'm asking him to do. This works out perfect for me. The black cow and the Charlotte cow end up in the front and they wanna leave. And so it leaves that Hereford heifer behind and the sorting is done. Now it's time for me to go set the rest of the gate so that this heifer can find her way out. Woo. Just like with Lima, we can often know a job very well, but become rusty in it. We begin to become stubborn and pushy and especially push back on those who may be asking us to do something that's really for our own good or that will make our life easier. The thing that we have to remember are there are some basic principles in life that really do make life easier. If we'll go back from time to time and revisit those basic principles, we will recognize where we have strayed and what we need to do to once again return to those principles that really do make us happy. It is only when we become stubborn or resistant to help that we get ourselves into a dangerous situation. We lose humility, and humility is one of the greatest virtues and characteristics that we can possess in this life. Only those who lack that virtue make it sound like it's a bad thing to have. Ernest Hemingway said, There is nothing noble in being superior to your fellow man. True nobility is being superior to your former self. I personally find it helpful to stop and evaluate my beliefs and my standards currently and see if they're still in line with the things that make me happy. I think personal evaluation, an honest personal evaluation, really helps determine whether my humility is in the place that it needs to be or not. Working these gates has really helped Lima to soften up. He's now real responsive to my leg and to my rein. He willingly pushes his shoulder into the corner and flexes his neck around. He willingly moves to the left and to the right as I put pressure on his side to make moving these gates and opening and closing them very simple. This heifer is happy to be out. She jumps and runs for joy. I can't blame her. I make sure she gets out with the rest of the heifers and turn around and come back so I can turn the old Charlotte cow and the young sick black and white cow back into the sick pen.
Abraham Lincoln said, I've been driven many times upon my knees by the overwhelming conviction that I had nowhere else to go. My own wisdom and that of all about me seemed insufficient for that day. Ashley Lorenzana said, It's okay to disagree with the thoughts or opinions expressed by other people. That doesn't give you the right to deny any sense they might make. Nor does it give you a right to accuse someone of poorly expressing their beliefs just because you don't like what they are saying. Learn to recognize good writing when you read it, even if it means overcoming your pride and opening your mind beyond what is comfortable. Thanks for coming along today. I really have enjoyed the opportunity to think about humility. The great thing about being on a horse and working with animals is that you have lots of time to look inside and reflect upon who you really are and what makes you what you are. A horse or a cow is real honest with you about your position in their life. Animals just tend not to lie. If you can get along with them and they can get along with you, it tells you a little bit about what's inside of yourself. Animals have a great sense about them of being able to read people, their actions, and the feelings that they have inside. If a person feels angry inside, then they transmit that right outside, and the animals can feel it and sense it and will respond to it. I think we as people are equally as receptive to those kind of feelings, but we tend to tuck them away because we don't want to have to deal with the feelings that we have about others. Hopefully today you'll take some time to look inside and see where you're at. Maybe go hang out with a cow or a horse or a dog and see what their opinion is of you. You might be pleasantly surprised or you might be taught that there's some things that you need to change. If they choose your company, that's a good thing. I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions and any philosophy that you might come up with as you watch these videos. Thanks so much for giving your time to us. I really hope you have a wonderful day. We would really appreciate it if you'd hit the like button and also subscribe. Also, if you'll hit that little notification bell, it'll tell you when we have anything out new. We really do appreciate all your help. Thanks again and hopefully we'll see you next time.